Hello there, welcome to XCOM Long War Beta 15 Charlie Co-op. My name is Captain Mathmo. Of course we're going to be hosting as well with Cepheids, the other player in this co-op. The plan is to uh, do one mission each and then to share the save file with each other so we can uh, keep swapping back and forth. Hopefully have a bit of an interesting gaming experience along the way. We're going to do it on Brutal. At least that's my idea. I'm turning off the DLC and we'll go with Iron Man as well to help with uh, in case something goes wrong mid-recording. We can uh, just pick up from where we're left and of course turn off the reduced uh, voiceover. Advanced options. Um, no, sorry. Second wave. We're just going to keep it standard. Not going to take anything on there. We'll dive straight into it. I've been playing Xcom for a little while, but Sephid's the more experienced of the two gamers in this respect, so it should be interesting. Maybe I'll lose a lot more soldiers than he will. I always like these sort of atmospheric introductions. In fact, all the um, sort of cutscenes in Dexcom are pretty cool. So it gives a bit of background context as to where you see those green goo guys that line up across your map. Mm, look at this green alien pod thing that just landed. Let's touch it. There's a surprise. Don't want to mess with these aliens. They'll give you. Hello, Commander. Hello. In light of the recent extraterrestrial incursion, this Council of Nations has convened to approve the activation of the XCOM project. Oh, I thought it was going to be Stargate. You have been chosen to lead this initiative to oversee our first and last line of defense. Your efforts will have considerable influence on this planet's future. We urge you to keep that in mind as you proceed. Very nice. Good I, luck, Commander. <coughs> I like how it's the Earth's last line of defense. However, the countries only give you like pennies to really defend. Surely if this was a real alien invasion, then they would provide you with like millions and millions of whatever currency you're using. Now picking a country in uh, Long War is pretty interesting. There's a lot more uh, options now with uh, the latest beta. I'm a big fan of the uh, US Syrian Mountain Complex. I quite like that the base is pretty much already excavated. It gives a lot more freedom in terms of long-term planning with uh, where you're going to build everything. I know Sefid is a big fan of uh, the um, flying bonuses you get from Russia. Um, but since I'm doing the first mission, I think I should make all the decisions. <laughs> so here we go. We're going to go for the Shane Mountain Complex. <coughs> And our the first operation, this operation will be in Canada. Operation Enduring the Crown is in Canada. Alien activity within a major metropolitan area. We should get down there and eliminate Standard mission. Hostiles. Six rookies. Let's go. Strike one. This is central. You are free right. to engage all hostile contacts in the AO. It's a bit of a non-standard uh, starting position right here. This is uh, the big warehouse sort of building on here. I'm expecting just some light contact here with the aliens. We have Martin Oliver as one of our guys. Pretty good offense, although he does have a laser sight on him. Victoria de Riddler. 
Rasmus Liv, um, Isabel Maureen, Mo Morea, Kimonas Dimitrikaos, I think I pronounced that right, and Hamanhu Bakman. Let's start moving. Um, let's get someone moving up. <coughs> Victoria de Riddler, our scout for this mission, it seems, since she was put at the front. Looks pretty safe to move up, so we'll do that with the rest of the squad. On my way. Moving up. Moving out. Actually, he's got pretty good movement. Rasmus Liv, maybe he can be our scout now. And we'll go overwatch. Oh, no, that's not what I want. Don't grenade your whole team. <laughs> so, sectoids. Sounds like pretty much straight ahead. Where was Rasmus? There he is. Let's uh, move him up. Let's go here. I've got a visual. Here we go, first contact, two sectoids on a drone. Sectoids are taking the roof, the smart little bastards. Well, that one is. Excuse my language. What sort of shots do we have? Not very good ones, of course. Hardened. Which is a good chance, he's a flying target, so we're not getting a good shot on him. What I'd like to do is just... Uh, Move up a bit closer, not letting him flank me, of course, but then we can shoot him next turn. Take some overwatch shots on him. I don't really want to move anyone further up. There's a good chance we're going to activate some more aliens in that way. So our friend here can just hide inside the container that was kindly provided by the local fishing authority. <coughs> She's in a fairly good position. It's not likely she's going to get flanked from there. I don't think the um, drone has good enough uh, movement to really affect there. I'm just going to take a shot. Ah, okay. Well, that's a good start. Take a 40% hit. You hit 0% of shots that you don't take. That's going to be my theory for uh, the playthrough, it seems. We'll overwatch just in case the sectors decide to come and play. The one on the roof might be a problem. Depends on whether he stays up there or whether he comes downstairs. We have a miss. Missed the target. Mm hmm. Yeah, he did. Incoming fire. But if he misses as well, then I'm happy with that. Right, our sector on the roof. Oh, okay. I might end up grenading that guy actually. He's not in a really nice position to deal with. Oh, and then he jumps down, so never mind. He ran away from his uh, really high cover to his death. He hasn't been to the Sektoi Training Academy, obviously. We can get a nice flank on this one here as well. Not a great amount of cover to take it from, unfortunately. Um, however, if I go here, then at least if I activate anything in the rest of the map, I should be in cover from it. Let's look at my other options first. <coughs> I can come out here and take some shots. So then with her, she's uh, not no. going to be in a bad position if we move left here. Let's uh, take our 40% shot. <laughs> it worked last time. Oh, it works again. I'm not going to complain if this is the way this campaign is going to go. I like to keep all the sectoid corpses that I can, so um, I'm not going to use any grenades uh, if I can at all avoid it. Let's just take my original plan. Just got hot in here. Oh dear, yeah, there's an activation. That's what I said probably would happen. But I'm in good cover now. I can deal with this uh, sectoid here on my left and then move up to deal with the rest. Well, that is a kill. Drawing the two sectoids down. That could have been a lot worse. So now these guys are... Um, there's a good chance this is the last um, pod on the map. 
I mean, this is four sectoids. There were two in the last group, and then there was a drone. So I'm sort of thinking this would be the last. I, of course, can't risk it. Um, so moving even further up might be a bit risky. However, I can't just let them come around on that guy, so I'm going to take some flanking positions. Understood, um, sir. And move around through the building. Potentially get on the roof at some point, if that uh, works out at all. I'm taking overwatch shot from here if possible. And, um, yeah. He's in full cover. I don't think they're really gonna. Well, they're certainly not gonna be able to flank him this turn. So let's, um. Let's have a take uh, this fuck over here. Sank Sank! Where are you gonna go, my friend? Rasmus, leave. Again, fuck over here. If it's just asking to get the shot taken out, you really. I'm happy taking this, uh. Fulk of route side of the aliens right now. And get a bit of mind melding going on. That's one. Oh, moving a bit closer. And overwatch. Same here. If I can get him to take all of the uh, fire, that's gonna be okay. Mm, never mind. Nobody else panic, please. Oh, here we go. So, last part, hopefully. And this dude's going upstairs. So we've got seven sectoids to deal with right now. I'm not gonna worry about that meld. These are probably going to be the easiest ones to deal with. These are sort of hunkered down in the corner with okay cover. It might be worth getting on the roof to deal with some of those. Especially with the one on overwatch. Although it means I can't take the roof from that side. Which might be a problem. Um, I can, however, come up here. But that's going to run his overwatch, which isn't great. There's roof access from this side, so... I'll again move across and uh, we'll try to take that. Heading out. Move across left here and then take uh, a nice position here to move on to the roof next turn. Uh, nope, nope. Let's go here. Might end up using some grenades here actually in the end. Certainly enough from this position. If I move back here. I don't think I'm going to activate an overwatch, and I'd like okay. quite like this cover. The only problem is I can't step out and take a shot at those with the overwatch, but... So I'm just going to have to deal with it at the moment. Copy that. I do feel I'm leaving this guy out in the cold right now, but once he stopped panicking, I'm moving back as well. That's what I like to see. I'm really pushing up on him now. Get an overwatch shot. Oh. Oh. Adjusting sides. Now none of the sectoids have went on overwatch here, which is uh, nice to see. Also nice to see failed mine for his. So it means I can potentially take the roof from this side as well with this turn. Please miss. Thank you. Fire. If I can get on the roof, the sectoids... If Well, certainly if I can get everyone on the roof, which isn't going to be likely, I guess, but I can take some uh, nice positions to take, take them out as they come up the pipes, because sectoids are always really curious. Kill One kill, very nice. Now I've got a kill on Hamenku Bakman. So was it? Yeah, it was. And also on some of these guys. No one's got a promotion directly so far. And to be honest, I wasn't counting the the kills. So um, I can quite nicely get on the roof up there. 
Same with this uh, guy here as well, we can take some nice loose positions and then also use these uh, windows to shoot down into the factory itself. So let's... Uh, I'm not going to get any flanks this turn, especially with, not with uh, the guys on this side, so let's just take the roof. Bien, commandant. So this one there. Here. Let's have you up on the roof as well. Well, our friend Kimonas Dimitri Kaos, of course. I'd like to know at which point the aliens don't see you on here. Yeah, it's pretty much as we get here. Who else can get on the roof? You can. Yes, That's good. Let's take you there. Yeah, so you can't be seen from here, which is nice. You can actually heal this guy. He's got a med kit, which is nice. Let's do that. Since the sectoids can't come up. Well, they certainly can come up, but they can't see me from where they are. And I can take some overwatch with these two guys as well. Should be fairly good shots. Low percentage shot to hit on that. I could protect my roof positions with these guys. Fall a bit further back. Cover them with overwatch. And then let these guys try to mob up from up there. There's not really much heavy cover out here to use, certainly not in the, this middle section. Moving up, um, we'll hop out, I think, and we can hunker. And okay. from here we can overwatch. 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 <laughs> Let's see what happens. I hope no one can move out to the side of this uh, building and then get a shot on the people on the roof. Just like that. Wow. Okay. That was a mistake. But aliens didn't capitalize on it. It could be super ballsy and go down and get the, uh, the meld. Where is it? It's right here. But that is just asking for someone to die. Um, so, let's see. See what we can make happen on the roof. We have a sectoid here. I would guess the remaining of the sectoids are on Overwatch, but I think I can get up to this cover without triggering it. Good sweet. Certainly, and we can take a shot from there. Fifty percent. Two damage. That could be worse. Now let's move our friend Leave. I think he should be able to uh, take a shot from there. Oh, he's going to take the overwatch, unfortunately. That all you got? He's good. Unfortunately, he doesn't have eyes, though. We could grenade at this point. We have, like, a million grenades. Well, a million sectoid corpses, at least. Is that going to be a grenade that will kill? No. No, it's not going to be behind... Oh, that one goes behind cover, I think. So certainly looks like it clips from there, but to do one damage from there is probably unlikely, actually. Um, I wish I knew the positions of the sectors here a bit better. There was one hiding around here earlier, but I don't really want to waste this grenade. I think we'll overwatch again. And then we'll take a position here to stop them moving up on our flank. Oh, and take another overwatch. I take my fair share of overwatches uh, this game. I've been quite lucky with it, I think. Can I get a grenade in him from here, I wonder? No, not even on this dude either. So, he'll be an overwatch as well, I think. I'm quite happy with her position. Maybe we can come in here and take another shot on... Uh, a friend on here, or even grenade. We got a 55%. I don't really want anyone to uh, die from a cheap shot. But I can't get a grenade in, so I'm just going to take that shot. It's a miss. They've got a good amount of health. I don't think they could be killed from that. They'd certainly be wounded, but it's fair enough. 
Overwatching the rest of the squad. Just to stop these aliens moving up again. I'll slowly whittle them down as long as I take some good positions. If they're moving in clustering, then I can get some nice grenades off, perhaps. Yeah. That's what I was worrying about, I guess. Chill out. It's fine. How are we going to be doing with flanks down here? I can't... Well, is that a flank? Yeah, it should be. I'm not in a fantastic cover, unfortunately, and I'm certainly going to get flanked by that guy next turn. If I could build, bring someone else up to cover that. Not at the moment, unfortunately. I've probably got another Overwatch to deal with here as well, which I wouldn't really want to run into. Could I destroy some cover? That's certainly an option. Yeah. Let's try it. Give some better shots on these sectors. Yeah, okay, so zero cover destroyed. I did two damage on this guy. I don't want to take that overwatch. Time to move some people up, I think, again. I'm rolling. <laughs> I don't even listen to my own advice, apparently. But I'm the luckiest guy on earth with Overwatch at the moment, so... Can I get my Overwatch, my uh, flank shot now? No, it was one tile off, wasn't it? I could get a grenade in and maybe kill him. I really like the Overwatch, though. Um, the, the flank shot, sorry. Well, uh, she's going to take a lot of fire next round, unless I move her. Which is certainly what I'm going to do. Moving. Yeah, I can't get a good enough grenade in there, really. And then if I move here, he's going to run out and flank me. There's some okay cover here. I can potentially get a grenade in Moving. from there as well. Let's see how this uh, this works. Yeah, but with two health, I'm not really sure that's going to kill him. Especially on the edge of the, the radius. 43% shot. Um... He's potentially going to take three shots here, which isn't so great. It's probably want to uh, hunker him down. And Olivia's a bit split up, so we'll start to move her over. Let's do this. Oh wow! Okay, Olivia was the <laughs> surname. <laughs> it's Mon. And what are the aliens going to do? Nothing? Oh, they're probably mind melting over here somewhere. Yeah, there we go. So there's, we've got a sectoid here. Taking a shot. No, mine for it. I'd really like to just drop in the windows, like power trooper style, and get nice flanks on them all, but... Got one coming upstairs, perhaps? No? Okay, that's good. Help! No. Yeah. No, I, I guess anymore. hunkering in good cover with they're not really having much better shots is sort of asking for a mind or for some mind games there. I need to kill some sectoids really. And uh That would be a nice flank. We'd have a couple of good flanks if I could just drop in, but we can see some sectoids out here. Where where are they? There's one hiding down here, and one here. Maybe I can get a nice grenade in on some of those. But again, I'd be risking what I did earlier, being shot at from the side. Can I get a shot in with him if I run around the other side? I think so. Position confirmed. Hmm, I had a flank somewhere there. Where was it? 
was on a sectoid down here. Ah, uh, it was probably this sectoid on the run past. Hmm. Since he's panicked now, I've lost my potential flank on that side. And I can't really safely drop in here for a flank either. This has turned into an interesting level. And we're going to start using some of these grenades, I think. I'd like to take out this one. He's the... Or maybe him. Yeah, let's go for our sector friend here. Start thinning them out a bit. There's too much contact at the moment. If you ask me. So we've potentially got one here. There's certainly one here. Um, you can see the mine smelled coming in. I think that's just going to be... Whether it's going to do four damage, I'm not sure, but... She, she's in a position where she can be flanked next turn, so she needs to move regardless. She could take the roof as well. On my way. Let's do that. I could take people away from the windows and just keep sitting on the roof and wait for them to come up and take shots as they do. That's not such a bad idea. Moving to position. Mm, not, not good enough grenade, unfortunately. Can we get anything in here? Well, straight down the middle. But not on this sectoid, unfortunately. Yeah, okay, I'll leave that grenade to overwatch. 60% chance to hit. Who could take a shot at him afterwards? He's got f a good amount of health. He's... Well, what am I looking at here? Elevated ground, so he gets a. Um, we're getting a, an offensive bonus. I think I have to take that. Oh, there we go. There's another sectoid. Good shot. And Martin Olivia. I don't like it. I was good at female surname. That's just going to confuse the hell out of me. If I move up and hunker, then I'm probably going to be mine for eight to hell. Of course, that's going to be a shot on the ceiling. Yeah. On the roof, even. No. Wow. <laughs> Sefi's not going to get to use that troop for a while. <laughs> Assuming she actually survives. He's been smart now. Oh, he's reloading, okay. That's gonna be a nice flank for our troop on the roof. If he can drop down, which he can. And these are all blue moves. Yep. So I think we're gonna pop down here on and do that. That's what Rasmus leave. Wow, the meld is still active as well. That's very nice. We can possibly pop in and get that next turn. We honestly thought that would have gone by now. Didn't pay attention to it so much. Where are our remaining sectoids? So basically the other side of the building at this point. Some good cover here which we can uh, take. Of course risk taking an overwatch unfortunately. Mm -hmm. Still no good grenade from here. Maybe I can get a better one from a bit closer. It's a little bit better. I know there was another sector drop in here somewhere. I see my, no, it's mine melding from the rear. Let's take this. Let's get a nice grenade on him and do some damage. There's a small Ready chance on. we'll kill him, of course. Maybe even the other sector was hiding down here, so. There we go. <laughs> so we can't see any at the moment. There now. Screw it. Risking that overwatch. And then we need her to move up as well. Um, yeah, do it step by step. Mm -hmm. 
Because so we've got the two remaining sectoids out here that were mind melding. They're eventually gonna show up. I'm happy to just wait them out at this point. There's an overwatch. There's one. Oh dear. Oh dear. The Riddler. Oh, and there goes the meld as well. Motherfucker. That's affirmative. So we had a sectoid down here, sitting next to the window. He's definitely taking a shot, so... And he's gonna be blocked line of sight wise, unfortunately, like that. See what sort of moves we can make with our covert up here at the back. Aye, aye, Commander. He's gonna get some kills for himself, I think. Back Not in. this turn, unfortunately, because he's gotta reload. Understood, sir. Request covering fire. Request covering fire. Man, I'm running Overwatch all over the place here. These two are going to stay safe on the roof for now. I should have really been counting how many sectoids I had left. Like I counted how many we had at the start, but... That doesn't help when I don't count the ones that I've killed. Got it. Again, no sectoids here. I can sort of hear one. I don't know if it's that guy. I guess it's that guy. And we'll start moving in. Probably take more overwatch. Aha. Uh -huh. There we go. There's another one. So he's in a good position to uh, flank next turn, thankfully. We'll hunker from here. It's not going to get flanked. And uh, move up here as well. Affirmative. Moving out. On the roof. So if these are the two uh, remaining sectoids, then we're not going to get have any sectoids running up, but. Then again, I didn't count, so <laughs> not really sure. Mm, sounds like he's in the ship. It's the sound of his footsteps changed a bit. He's not the one you should be worrying about, aliens. Yeah, so he's in the ship. This alien here is potentially going to be flanked if he's still in that position. Uh, where did he go? He's behind. No, he can't be behind there. Where did he go? He must be inside. You are suppressed, my friend, unfortunately. You, however, are not. On but you're gonna way. take an old watch note out. No. Copy that. Like to find out where this other sectoid is. There he is. Oh, and we got a lovely flank on him. Look at them, pretty smart trying to move up. Not on my watch, miss. <laughs> Almost. That's nice. Pin this guy with Overwatch, and then we can uh, start moving in on him. I think this is the last one now. I could stand here and take a shot on him, but to be honest, I feel that's pretty risky. Way. I'd like to just move up and uh, get in good position for next turn. Fire over here. That's good. That should be a dead sectoid next turn, hopefully, if I got someone in movement range, which I do. Of course, he's got no ammo. That's unfortunate. She's in excellent position to do it. I'm on the move. Have yourself a kill, Isabel. There we go. One up would have lost, unfortunately. The labs are on high alert. Teams are standing by for your orders. Thank you, Valen. We begin researching the newly recovered artifacts immediately. Immediately. Do it. Commander to the research labs. Commander to the research labs. Let's get the normal introductory lecture by Bradford. Welcome to XCOM HQ, Commander. 
Watch the guy in the top right. Look at how pissed off he is at something. My role in this project is twofold. Providing tactical support <laughs> for our field operations and keeping you briefed on the current situation. My efforts should allow you to focus on the bigger issues at hand. Speaking of which, we have a soldier waiting for a promotion in the barracks. I'll let you get to it. Thanks. Let's go promote those soldiers. Isn't that, shouldn't that be your job, Bradford? Whatever. So unfortunately, Victoria de Riddler, she got a kill as well, so... That's unfortunate. Of course, Martin was uh, too far back to really be involved. I guess I should have had him a bit closer, but... We got promotions on other troops. To the research labs. Commander to the research um, labs. Scout was sniper. She's got not such a great aim. She probably went into a scout later on. Um, Erasmus leave. Again, not such a great aim on him. Can make him into a grenadier. He's probably the best aim at the moment. I think he'd probably go into a rocketeer. It's nice to have some good aim on your rocketeers. Are being unloaded, and the research team is waiting your orders. We'll get started as soon as you give the order, Commander. Thank you, Valen. You're, you're so friendly and helpful. Ah, Let's talk Commander. to Shen instead. I was wondering when you'd be stopping by. Welcome to engineering. Anything they can dream up in the research labs, we can build it here. How come they had so much money Speaking to like? Which, Dr. Valen has make just sent us some new schematics. Yeah, we've got With to your pay for approval, guns. We will begin fabrication. Commander to the research mm. labs. Commander to the research Let's labs. Let's start off with some sort of shotguns. Since they're free, we'll have uh, 20 of them, why not? Get yourself busy. And let's look at our facilities. We'll start off with the steam, which is going to be useful. We'll get these on the go as well. Give ourselves a bit of space. Schönen guten Morgen, Herr Valen. I oversee Frau the Valen. research labs. This is where all of XCOM's research and development takes place. We have already begun analyzing the this artifacts nice recovered from our first encounter with the aliens. Based on our preliminary findings, we believe we can use them to develop some new equipment for our soldiers. Hmm. With your approval, we will begin research immediately. I'm just not going to approve that. No. So xenobiology, that's basically why you want the sector corpses in the face mission. It's nice to get. I normally like to go as well for alien weaponry. Um, because you can... Uh, make a good start on the laser weaponry. If you research xenobiology then you start getting requests for the uh, sectoid corpses. So it's nice to have that, a bit of extra income if you need it. Both 18 days. To mission control. Uh, Commander to mission control. I think we're gonna go for alien weaponry. It seems the complexities of our decision research project has been made. are overwhelming the current staff. I hope you'll consider seeking out additional scientists to bolster the team. Of course. Every member of the council is going to want satellite coverage. So we should plan our deployments carefully. Okay. So. General plan, I suppose, is to take the uh, Canada and Mexico. Get the bonus. Um, and then a lot later, I guess, heading to South. South America seems like a, a wise plan for the start. But of course, it can always change. Commander to mission control. Commander to mission control. Let's spin the globe. As Sefi would say. Here's our shotguns. I guess we're probably going to get a UFO and then shoot it down and we'll get a UFO mission. mission Which reminds me, I should be. Uh, I should probably outfit some of these guys with. Uh, some stingray missiles. Oh dear, didn't want to transfer. One to outfit. I'll change the name as well. Raven. Very fitting. Farmer. <laughs> Farmer de Jardin. Isn't Jardin a garden in in uh, French? The gardens. Farmer the gardens. Okay. We'll stick with that. Um Firefly and 
Book Ro oh, bad Book Rogers. Shit. I went past it. Blender. No. Do you think I'm going to get back to Book Rogers? I don't think so. Can you change it manually? No. That's a shame. I'm going to keep going through until... Uh, <laughs> Q-tip Murphy. <laughs> okay, we have a ship name. Q-tip. Sticking with that. Let's go back to the gob. Yeah, 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 yeah. There we go. Can we work on our um, power already? We could. Um, it's a nice start. It's also nice to get a lab up, really. I guess since we've got steam here, this is going to be a nice power block somewhere, and then we can probably get a bunch of labs um, in here. Or maybe the labs down the side. Since we've got access here, then this could really be a power block. We could have s some, like the op uh, officer school, um, officer training school, etc., in here. Block it off, and then here we'll have the labs, I think. Let's go for an early lab. And that means we have to wait for the uh, Thermo generator. Well, sorry, we have to wait for that anyway, but we need the money for that. So yeah, I think that's good. Concrete. Here we go. We're detecting a new contact. So this Much is uh, enough of the Earth. Previously encountered. It's a large I one, so it's probably going to be. Uh, that ship. We'll just go see what it is. It's probably going to land, and we'll get it landed to uh, a formation. We have eyes on so the we're bandit. not going to be shooting him down. Okay, Disengaging. yeah. So that's a big one. Um, what was that? Oh, aircraft returning to service. Where's he going to land? Florida. No. Abductions. So, that's the end of uh, this mission. Pass the save over to Sefit and uh, he's going to do the next one. Until then.